Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and very warm welcome to you. My name is Alex of Small Cars Direct here in New Milton, Hampshire, and I'm here today to present this rather sharp looking, I must say, 2016, 16 registered Smart 4.2. Features the, well, it's the pick of the engines, really, the 0.9 litre turbo petrol engine. These cars do come in the very flat one litre non turbo. Uh, guys, this is definitely the one to have the 0.9 litre, more punchy, more powerful, and actually free road tax as well. This is the Prime Premium Plus. What that essentially means is it's got absolutely loads of specifications. So great spec, coupe, petrol, twin amic, so auto, really does have the pick of the options in terms of gearboxes and engines. 0.0 litre turbo automatic, so that is the one to have. Trust me, just 28,000. 168 miles from you, so extremely low mileage. Less than three years worth of mileage covered across its eight years of age, and it's had amassed a whopping seven services across the really low mileage. So, been serviced to death, been serviced at 5,000, 8,000, 10, 15, 21, 24, and just 200 miles ago at 27,990. Benefits from an MOT that runs to April. 2025 and that was carried out with no advisories like i said zero road tax insurance group is an extremely low eight out of 50 and you can achieve anything up to the extra urban claimed official figure of 78 miles per gallon wow really great on fuel sits on the 15 inch alloy wheels and they're in really really sharp condition the five twin spoke machine faced and gloss black alloy wheels also got the benefit of the uh, rear parking sensors, as you can see. Not only that, but you're also treated to a reverse park camera. So got all of their parking aids on the rear then. Got the hill start assist, so no awkward, well, obviously no clutch difficulties on pulling off on the uh, hills because it's auto. You've also got, um, well, got pan roof, haven't you? Obviously looks very black from the outside, but if you look inside, you've got the pan roof, also got a blind. So it gets too hot in there, it's too bright, you can just pull the blind over. That's really good. And you've got the uh, uh, premium tyres, Bridgestone and Michelin tyres, with more than ample amounts of tread remaining across all four corners. And as you can see, really minor markings, if any, to note on the alloy wheels. Just take a look at tread. You've got loads of tread there, that looks quite a recent tyre, to be honest. And zoom in on this wheel for you here. I must say, overall, the whole car is in fantastic order. Really isn't anything major to point out whatsoever in terms of imperfections. Really not going to be disappointed with this, I think. Just a few little marks in the bottom right-hand corner of this wheel. That's anything I can really see. Take a closer look at the front, then you'll see that all the lights are looking nice and crystal clear. Gloss black front radiator grille, honeycomb style. It's looking perfect, isn't it? Same for all the other lights, daytime running lights and fog lights. Um, imperfections wise on the front, I mean, <clears throat> tiny little chip there in the paint. I mean, it's tiny. Look at that. Consider the size of my finger next to it. Screen, that's looking nice and clear. I can't see any chips. I must say I was driving this earlier. And the screen was crystal clear, nice and clean. Got star guard protection, which may or may not have been um laid on the car at some point so that's obviously going to probably benefit paintwork just going to be easier to clean probably gloss black mirrors um we've actually got the radar built into the windscreen there um because this car does does have lane keep assist so great for when you're driving on the motorway it will notify you if you're drifting out of your lane if you're tired it's got the crash sensor on the front so it'll indicate you with a visual aid and also an audible aid if you are looking like you're going to crash into the car in front, maybe you're late braking, it'll actually help and alert you with that, which is brilliant, I think. And you've also got the crosswind assist. So if you're worried about crosswinds and driving a Smart 4.2, that crosswind assist function is going to help with that. So um, that's really handy to have. Got the uh, the leather look seats. I don't know if they're real leather or not. Um, may not be, but they certainly look like it. Got the nice, tasteful and classy white stitching front heated seats so that's really nice to have get a nice warm bum side airbags as well so really spec what you've got speed limiter and the cruise control options there with the multi-function steering wheel the audio control options there 
got the electrically adjustable door mirrors as well, which is a nice touch. Let's just take a quick look at the back then. You've got, you've got the split tailgate. So if you just pop this open here, the hatch will open. So if you just want to get a few bags of shopping, nothing too serious, and they just drop them in. And then you can pull the load cover too. So nobody, I sounded very Cornish then, didn't I? Pull the load cover back over so nobody could, in their prying eyes, can see what you've got in there, which is quite handy. And just lift this up, very light, easy to operate. It then gives you full access into the boot. This can actually hold 100 kilos. So you could probably sit, stand on here, unless your name's Rick Waller, uh, and open this up and you can get a load of items in here. Um, uh, or butter bean, I suppose. And then you can just close this up nice and easy. Use it as a picnic table, put a load of wine in there if you want. Um, and yeah, just looks nice and modern, doesn't it? Very fresh. Underneath here's your engine. For those that don't know, probably don't care. The majority of you probably don't care, but anyway, your engine's underneath here. You undo all these screws, there's six of them. Then you can get in there and you can check your engine oil level, things like that. Um, so very actually easy to maintain, believe it or not. Because once you've got that open, you've got really good access um, to the engine. And then to, like, to change stuff like the oil and filter. I mean, the filter's in a really great, easy location just underneath there. So maintaining it, contrary to most popular beliefs, it's actually quite straightforward. Um, if we quick, quick looking from passenger side then, you see all this, all this trim looks good. You've got a side airbag on passenger side too. Sometimes these rubber bits get scuffed with people's feet as they get in and out. Not on this example. This is looking pristine. And even the entry areas sometimes get caught with seatbelt. No, all looks really good. Glove box, albeit a small one, with the locking wheel nut in there. A nice little side cubby hole for storing items down there as well. Dual cup holders and a really nice, handy center armrest. So... I mean, options-wise, I'm not really sure there's much that isn't or hasn't been ticked on this particular example. Uh, getting into the front then, you just pull these two tabs, one either side. Pull that right out there. Same on this side. There you go, pull that out. And if you just grab, literally just grab the bonnet, just give it a little wiggle, he says. And uh, you got access straight into your engine bay. We haven't really got much here. You've got your brake fluid coolant and battery and washer fluid there as well and then if you can literally just so i'm trying to do this with just not many hands but if you just push it down locate the bonnet either side again plastic because the whole car's rigidity comes from its actual kind of core these body panels are just plastic which sit on top of it um, which is great because in terms of like you know replacing body panels and things like that you know if you had to replace like a wing i mean we've never had to do do so on this um, generation smart car um, but the curiosity killed me the other day I called smart Mercedes and I said how much would it be for a wing and they said something should be like 90 quid I'm like 90 to, to like professionally get a scratch out of a wing it costs bloody more than that I mean get like brand new panels still from Mercedes for not a lot of money and um, that was a while ago things may have changed but it just goes to show the cheap running costs of a smart car at this age actually really really reasonable um, what I want to do finally is just to jump in and start the car, just so you can see it starts fine. You know, navigation works, things like that. We've got two keys complete with the car as well. We offer finance with rates starting from just 9.9% .9 APR at the moment. Let me start it up. You see it starts first time, no hesitation, no warning lights. Let's just uh, check out the nav system, the radio. Um, what should we try? BBC Solent. This is digital radio, DR1. And then for the last six oh, months, yeah. yeah. Steve Stone, another... Steve legend Stone, player. legendary another 90s up. footballer, for those of you that don't know. Probably not that bothered either. But um, let's check out this fan. Steve Stone, he used to play for Nottingham Forest, didn't he? AC, as you can see, it's already misting up. It's already ice cold. So AC working, which is fantastic what else to tell you you can reserve this car from as little as 100 pounds whoa listen to the power i'll pop it into reverse as well just so you can see the reverse camera works look at that as if parking wasn't easy already amazing reverse park camera pop it back i just want to show you the navigation system so stop start is working which shows the battery's in good health Let's just go back to the nav. 
Yeah, you're getting your mouth working. Cool. That's all I really want to show you. You've got the economy and sport mode down here. Just on the flick of a button. You can see it's changing from S to E on the main display when it wants to focus in. Um, but that's about it, guys. If you've got a car to part exchange, then please do get in touch. Let us know the reg, the mileage. Just send us some photos of the worst imperfections and uh, we can get your price subject to seeing, obviously. You can apply for finance directly on the Small Cars Direct website right now from the comfort of your own home. Just check out that finance calculator. And um, yeah, we do deliver nationwide as well. So if you've got a price to deliver, let us know your postcode and we'll let you know how much it is to get this car on your driveway. You can deliver really, really quickly in some instances. We don't accept offers. Cars are priced really well as they are. And um, you can come and view by appointment six days a week. Please speak to myself or my colleague, John. Thanks for watching, guys, and hopefully we'll speak to some of you soon.